How does a bastard, orphan, son of a whore and a Scotsman Dropped in the middle of a forgotten spot in the Caribbean By providence impoverished and squalor Grow up to be a hero and a scholar the ten dollar founding father without a father got a lot farther by working a lot harder by being a lot smarter by being a self-starter by 14 they placed him in charge of a trading charter and every day while slaves were being slaughtered and carted away across the waves he struggled and kept his guard up inside he was longing for something to be a part of the brother was ready to beg steal borrow or barter then a hurricane came and devastation rained our man saw his future drip dripping down the train put a pencil to his temple connected it to his brain and he wrote his first refrain a testament to his pain well the word got around and said this kid is insane man took up a collection just to send him to the mainland get your education don't forget from whence you came and the world's gonna know your name what's your name man alexander hamilton my name is Alexander Hamilton And there's a million things I haven't done But just you wait, just you wait When he was ten, his father split full of it Debt ridden two years later See Alex and his mother bedridden half dead Sitting in their own sick, the scent thick And Alex got better, but his mother went Moved in with a cousin, the cousin committed suicide Left him with nothing but ruined pride Something new inside a voice saying Alex, you gotta fend for yourself He started retreating and reading every treatise on the shelf but There would've been nothing left to do for someone less astute He would've been dead and destitute without a cent or restitution Started working, working for his late mother's landlord Trading sugar cane and rum and all the things he can't afford Scared him all Asking. Oh, well, sure. Sir, I'm Alexander Hamilton. I'm at your service, sir. I have been looking for you. I'm getting nervous. Sir, I heard your name at Princeton. I was seeking an accelerated course of study. When I got sort of out of sorts with a buddy of yours, I may have punched him. It's a blur, sir. He handles the financials. You punched the bursar. Yes, I wanted to do what you did, graduate in two and join the revolution. He looked at me like I was stupid. I'm not stupid. So how'd you do it? How'd you graduate so fast? It was my parents' dying wish before they passed. You're an orphan. Of course, I'm an orphan. God, I wish there was a war. Then we could prove that we're worth more than anyone bargained for. Can I buy you a drink? That would be nice. While we're talking, let me offer you some free advice. Talk less. What? 
smile more <laughs> Don't let them know what you're against or what you're for You can't be serious You wanna get ahead Yes Fools who run their mouths off wind up dead Ay uh, yo 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 what time is it show time Like I said Show time show time yo I'm John Lawrence in the place to be a two pints of Sam Adams but I'm working on three ha. Those red coats don't want it with me cuz I will pack chick a pack these cops till I'm free Hey we oui, we oui, mon ami je m'appelle Lafayette the Lancelot of the Revolutionary Set. I came from afar just to say bonsoir to the king, cause it's why who is the best, c'est moi. Bra, bra, I am Hercules Mulligan, up in it, loving it. Yes, I heard your mother said, come again. Hey. Lock up your daughters and horses. Of course, it's hard to have intercourse over four sets of corsets. Wow. No more sex. Pour me another brew, son. Let's raise a couple more to, to the, the revolution. revolution. Well, if it ain't the prodigy of Bristol College. Aaron Burr. Give us a verse. Drop some knowledge. Good luck with that. You're taking a stand. You spit. I'm a sit. We'll see where we land. Oh. The revolution's imminent. What do you stall for? If you stand for nothing, Burr, what'll you fall for? Ooh, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who, who is this kid? What's he gonna do? I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Hey, yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. To King's College I probably shouldn't brag But dag I'm amazed and astonished The problem is A lot, a lot of brains But no polish I gotta holler Just to be heard With every word I drop knowledge I'm a diamond in the rough A shiny piece of coal Trying to reach my goal My power of speech Unimpeachable Only 19 But my mind is older These New York City streets Get colder I shoulder Every burden Every disadvantage I've learned to manage I don't have a gun to brandish I walk these streets famished The plan is To fan this spark Into a flame But damn it's getting so let me spell out the name. I am the A L E X A N D E R. We are meant to be a colony that runs independently. Meanwhile, Britain keeps shitting on us endlessly. Essentially, they tax us relentlessly. Then King George turns around, runs a spending spree. He ain't never gonna set his descendants free. So there will be a revolution in this century. And to me, he says in parentheses, don't be shocked when your history book mentions me. I will lay down my life if it sets us free. Eventually, you'll see my ascendancy. And I am not thrown away my shot. I am not thrown away my shot. And yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry. And I'm not thrown away. Life without a monarchy. The unrest in France will lead to anarchy. Anarchy. How you say? I use all oh, anarchy. <laughs> when I fight, I make the other side panicky with my shot. Yo, I'm a tailor's apprentice, and I got job knuckleheads and local parentis. I'm joining the rebellion, cause I know what's my chance to socially advance. Instead of sewing some pants, I'm gonna take a shot. And but we'll never be truly free until those in bondage have the same rights as you and me. Right. You and I do or die. Ooh. Wait till I sally in on a stallion with the first black. Shot geniuses, lower your voices. You keep out of trouble and you double your choices. I'm with you, but the situation is fraught. You've got to be carefully taught. If you talk, you're gonna get shot. Bird, check what we got. Mr. Lafayette, hard rock like Lancelot. I think your pants look hot. Lawrence, I like you a lot. Let's hatch a plot blacker than the kettle calling the pot. What are the odds of God to put us all in one spot? Pop in a squad and conventional wisdom like it or not. A bunch of revolutionary manumission abolitionists. Position, show me where the ammunition is. Oh, am I talking too loud? Sometimes I get overexcited, shoot off at the mouth. I never had a group of friends before. I promise that I'll make y'all proud. Let's get this guy in front of a crowd. I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Hey, yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Hey, yo, I'm just like my country. I'm
brother that he's got to rise up. Tell your sister that she's got to rise up. When are these colonies going to rise up? I imagine death so much it feels more like a memory When's it gonna get me? In my sleep, seven feet ahead of me If I see it coming, do I run or do I let it be? Is it like a beat without a melody? See, I never thought I'd live past 20 Where I come from, some get half as many Ask anybody why we live it fast And we laugh, reach for a flash We have to make this moment last That's plenty, scratch that This is not a moment, it's the movement Where all the hungriest brothers with something to prove went Foes oppose us, we take an honest stand Roll like Moses, claiming our promised land And if we win our independence Is that a guarantee of freedom for our descendants? Or will the blood we shed begin an endless cycle of vengeance And death with no defendants? I know the action in the street is exciting But Jesus, between all the bleeding and fighting I've been reading and writing We need to handle our financial situation Are we a nation of states? What's the state of our nation? I'm past patiently waiting, I'm passionately smashing Every expectation, every action's an act of creation I'm laughing in the face of casualties of sorrow For the first time I'm thinking past tomorrow And I am not pulling away my shot I am not pulling away my shot Hey yo, I'm just like my country I'm young, scrappy, and hungry And I'm not pulling away my shot I may not live to see our glory. I may not live to see our glory. But I will gladly join the fight. But I will gladly join the fight. And when our children tell our story. And when, when our, our children, children tell our story. They'll tell the story of tonight. Let's have another round tonight. Let's have another round tonight. Let's have another round tonight. Raise a glass to freedom. Something they can never take away. No matter what they tell you Raise a glass to the four of us Tomorrow there'll be more of us Telling the story of tonight They'll tell the story of tonight Raise a glass to freedom Something they can never take away No matter what they tell you Let's have another round tonight Raise a glass to the four of us Tomorrow there'll be more of us Telling the story of tonight Let's have another round tonight They'll tell the story of tonight Raise a glass to freedom They'll tell the story of tonight Raise a glass to freedom They'll tell the story of tonight Folks love more than going downtown and slumming it with the poor. They pull up in their carriages and gawk at the students in the common just to watch them talk. Take Philip Schuyler, the man is loaded. Uh-oh, but little does he know that his daughters, Peggy, Angelica, Eliza, sneak into the city just to watch all the guys. It work, work. Angelica, work, work. Eliza, and work, Peggy, work. the Schuyler sisters. Angelica, Peggy, Eliza, work. Daddy said to be home by sundown. He doesn't need to know Daddy said not to go downtown Like I said, you're free to go But look around, look around The revolution's happening in New York, New York. Work. Work. It's bad enough that he wants to go to war People shouting in the square It's bad enough there'll be violence on our shore no idea. I'm looking for a mind at work. I'm looking for a mind at work. I'm looking for a mind at work. Whoa, 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 whoa. Work. Ooh. There's nothing like summer in the city. 
Someone in a rush, next to someone looking pretty Excuse me miss, I know it's not funny But your perfume smells like your daddy's got money While you slumming in the city in your fancy heels You searching for an urchin who can give you ideals Sir, you disgust me Ah, so you disgust me I'm a trust fund, baby, you can trust me I've been reading Common Sense by Thomas Paine So men say that I'm intense or I'm insane You want a revolution, I want a revelation So listen to my declaration We hold these truths to be self-evident That all men are created on the proceedings of the Continental Congress. Heed not the rabble who scream revolution. They have not your interest at heart. Oh my God, tear this dude apart. Chaos and bloodshed are not a solution. Don't let them lead you astray. This Congress does not speak for me. Let him be. They're playing a dangerous game I pray the king shows you his mercy for shame for shame yeah. heed have not you the revel let the sound of screams but the revolution is coming they have not a your interest, interest at heart to listen to you with a straight face chaos and, and bloodshed already haunt us a solution and even talk Don't and what if the boss you cost and all that we've lost and you talk this about congress does not speak for my me. dog speaks more eloquently than a dangerous dream your mind is I the same the king shows you his mercy oh, is he in jersey for oh, shame for the revolution Yourself again, I'm gonna scream. scream. Honestly, look at me, please don't read. Not your interest. Don't modulate the key, then not debate with me. Why should a tiny island across the sea regulate the price of tea? Alexander, please. Burr, I'd rather be divisive than indecisive. Drop the niceties. Silence! A message from the king. A message from the king. A message from the king. Price of my love is not a price that you're willing to pay. You cry in your tea, which you hurl in the sea when you see me go by. Why so sad? Remember, we made an arrangement when you went away. Now you're making me mad. Remember, despite our estrangement, I'm your man. You'll be back, soon you'll see you remember you belong to me You'll be back, time will tell you remember that I served you well Oceans rise, empires fall We have seen each other through it all And when push comes to shove I will send a fully armed battalion to remind you of my love. Da 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 You say our love is draining and you can't go
subject Cause you're my favorite subject My sweet submissive subject My loyal royal subject Forever and ever and ever Like before, I will fight the fight and win the war For your love, for your praise And I'll love you till my dying days When you're gone, I'll go mad So don't throw away this thing we heard Cause when push comes to shove I will kill your friends and family to remind you of my love da 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 As a kid in the Caribbean, I wished for a war I knew that I was poor, I knew it was the only way to rise up If they tell my story, I am either gonna die on the battlefield in glory or rise up I will fight for this land, but there's only one man who can give us a command so we can rise up Understand, it's the only way to rise up, rise up here he comes. Here comes the general. Ladies and gentlemen. Here comes the general. The moment you've been waiting for. Here comes the general. The pride of Mount Vernon. Here comes the general. It's Washington. We are outgunned, what? outmanned, what? outnumbered, outplanned. <laughs> you gotta make an all out stand. Hey yo, I'm gonna need a right hand man. Check it. Can I be real a second? For just a millisecond Let down my guard and tell the people how I feel a second Now I'm the model of a modern major general The venerated Virginian veteran Whose men are all lining up To put me up on a pedestal Writing letters to relatives Embellishing my elegance and eloquence But the elephant is in the room The truth is in your face When you hear the British cannons go Boom! Any hope of success is fleeting How can I keep leading When the people I'm leading keep retreating We put a stop to the the bleeding as the British take Brooklyn. Night takes Rook, but look, we are outgunned, outmanned, outnumbered, outplanned. We gotta make an all out stand. Hey, yo, I'm gonna need a right hand man. Incoming! They're battering down the battery, check the damages. We gotta stop them and rob them of their advantages. Let's take a stand with the stamina God has granted us. Hamilton won't have Let's steal the cannon. Shaboom! Goes the cannon, watch the blood and the shit spray. And boom! Goes the cannon, we're abandoning Kip's Bay. And boom! There's another shipping. We just lost Southern tipping. Boom! We gotta run the Harlem quick, we can't afford another slip. Guns and horses, giddy up. I decide to divvy up my forces. This skittish as the British cut the city up. This close to giving up, facing mass scrutiny. I scream in the face of this mass mutiny. Are these the men with which I am to defend America? We ride at midnight, Manhattan in the distance. I cannot be everywhere at once, people. I'm in dire need of assistance. Your Excellency, sir. Who are you? Aaron Burr, sir. Permission to state my case. As you were. Sir, I was a captain under General Montgomery until he caught a bullet in the neck in Quebec. And well, in summary, I think that I could be of some assistance. 
I admire how you keep firing on the British from a distance. <laughs> I have some questions, a couple of suggestions on how to fight instead of fleeing west. Yes. Well, Your Excellency, you wanted to see me. Hamilton, come in. Have you met Burr? Yes, sir. We, we keep, keep meeting. meeting. As I was saying, sir, I look forward to seeing your strategy play out. Burr, sir, close the door on your way out. Have I done something wrong, sir? On the contrary, I called you here because our odds are beyond scary. Your reputation precedes you, but I have to laugh. Sir? Hamilton, how come no one can get you on their staff? Sir! Don't get me wrong, you're a young man of great renown. I know you stole British cannons when we were still downtown. Nathaniel Green and Henry Knox wanted to hire yeah, you. To be their secretary, I don't think so. Now why are you upset? I'm not. It's all right, you want to fight, you've got a hunger. I was just like you when I was younger Head full of fantasies of dying like a martyr Yes Dying is easy, young man Living is harder Why are you telling me this? I'm being honest I'm working with a third of what our Congress has promised We are a powder keg about to explode I need someone like you to lighten the load So I am not throwing away my shot I am not throwing away my shot And you're just like my country And you I am not throwing away my shot. Son, we are outgunned, out man. You need all the help you can get. I have some friends. Lawrence Mulligan, Marquis de Lafayette. Okay, what else? Outnumbered, outplayed. You need some spies on the inside. Some king's men who might let some things slide. I'll write to Congress and tell them we need supplies. We rally the guys, master the element of surprise. I'll rise above my station. Organize your information till we rise to the occasion of our new nation. Stop. Here comes the general. Right-hand man. Ooh. How does a bastard, orphan, son of a whore, go on and on, grow into more of a phenomenon? Watch this obnoxious, arrogant, loud mouth bother. Be seated at the right hand of the father. Washington hires Hamilton right on sight, but Hamilton still wants to fight, not right. Now Hamilton's skill with the quill is undeniable, but what do we have in common? We're reliable with the ladies. There are so many to deflower. Ladies. Looks proximity to power. Ladies. They delighted in distracting the Martha Washington named her feral tomcat after him. That's true. 1780, a oh, winter's ball, and the Skylar sisters are the envy of all. Yo, if you could marry a sister, your rich son. Is it a question of if Burr or which one? Hey, 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 hey. hey. change your life. And by all means, lead the way. Elizabeth Schuyler, it's a pleasure to meet you. Schuyler. My sister. 
Thank you for all your service. If it takes fighting a war for us to meet, it will have been worth it. I'll leave you to it. One week later, I'm writing a letter nightly. Now my life gets better every letter that you write me. Laughing at my sister because she wants to form a harem. I'm just saying, if you really love me, you would share them. Ha! Two weeks later in the living room stressing. My father's stone-faced while you're asking for his blessing. I'm dying inside as you whine and dine. And I'm trying not to cry because there's nothing that your mind can't do. My father makes his way across the room to you. I panic for a second thinking we're through. But then he shakes your hand and says, be true. And you turn back to me smiling. I don't have a dollar to my name, an acre of land, a troop to command, a dollar for fame. All I have is my honor, a tolerance for pain, a couple of college credits, and my top-notch brain. Insane, your family brings out a different side of me. Peggy confides in me, Angelica tried to take a bite of me. No stress, my love for you is never in doubt. We'll get a little place in Harlem and we'll figure it out. I've been living without a family since I was a child. My father left, my mother died. I grew up buck wild, but I'll never Never forget my mother's face, I was real As long as I'm alive, I lies, I swear to God you'll never feel so I never do what you do I never felt so Satisfied. I'm sure I don't know what you mean. You forget yourself. You're like me. I'm never satisfied. Is that right? I've never been satisfied. My name is Angelica Schuyler. Alexander Hamilton. Where's your family from? Unimportant. There's a million things I haven't done. Just you wait. Just you wait. So, so, so. so this is what it feels like to match wit with someone at your level. What the hell is the catch? It's the feeling of freedom of seeing the light. It's Ben Franklin with the key and a kite. You see it, right? The conversation lasted two minutes, maybe three minutes. Everything we said in total agreement. It's a three minutes, a bit of a dance, a bit of a posture. It's a bit of a stance. He's a bit of a flirt, but I'ma give it a chance. I asked about his family. Did you see his answer? His hands started fidgeting. He looked askance. He's penny 
course, he's flying by the seat of his pants. Handsome boy, does he know it? Peach fuzz, then he can't even grow it. I want to take him far away from this place, then I turn and see my sister's face, and she is so About to change your life. Then by all means, lead the way. Number one. I'm a girl in a world in which my only job is to marry rich. My father has no son, so I'm the one who has to social climb for what? So I'm the oldest and the wittiest and the gossip in New York City is insidious. And Alexander is penniless. <laughs> that doesn't mean I want a many less. Elizabeth Schuyler, it's a pleasure to meet you. Schuyler. My sister. Number two. He's after me because I'm a Schuyler. for all your service. If it takes fighting a war for us to meet, it will have been worth it. I'll leave you to it. Number three. I know my sister like I know my own mind. You will never find anyone as trusting or as kind. If I tell her that I love him, she'd be silently resigned. He'd be mine. She would say I'm fine. She'd be lying. But when I fantasize at night, it's Alexander's eyes as I romanticize what might have been if I hadn't sized him up so quickly. At least, my dear Eliza's his wife. At least I keep his eyes in my life. <laughs> I may not live to see our glory. I may not live to see our glory. But I've seen wonders great and small. I've seen wonders great and small. Cause if the Tom Cat can get married, if Alexander can get married, there's hope for our ass after all. With a glass to freedom. Hey! Something you will never see again. No matter what she tells you. Let's have another round tonight. There's a glass to the four of us. Oh. To the newly not four of us. Now we'll tell the story of tonight. Let's have another round. Well, if it isn't Aaron Burr, sir, I didn't think that you would make it. To be sure, uh, I came to say congratulations. But a verse, Burr. I see the whole gang is here. You are the worst, Burr. <laughs> Ignore them. Congrats to you, Lieutenant Colonel. I wish I had your command instead of Man in George's journal. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Now be sensible. From what I hear, you've made yourself indispensable. Well, well, I heard you got a special someone on the side, Bird. Is that so? What are you trying to hide, Bird? I should go. No, these guys should go. What? No. Leave us alone. Man. It's all right, Bird. I wish you'd brought this girl with you tonight, Burr. You're very kind, but I'm afraid it's unlawful, sir. What do you mean? She's married. I see. She's married to a British officer. Oh, shit. Congrats again, Alexander. Smile more. I'll see you on the other side of the war. I will never understand you. If you love this woman, go get her. What are you waiting for? See you on the other side of the war. I'll see you on the other side of the war.
Theodosia writes me a letter every day. I'm keeping her bed warm while her husband is away. He's on the British side in Georgia. He's trying to keep the colonies in line. Well, he can keep all of Georgia. Theodosia, she's mine. Love doesn't discriminate between the sinners and the saints. It takes and it takes and it takes and we keep loving anyway. We laugh and we cry and we break and we make our mistakes. And if there's a reason I'm by her side and so many have tried, then I'm willing to wait for it. I'm willing to wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. My grandfather was a fire and brimstone preacher. 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 But there are things that the homilies and hymns won't teach you. Teacher. My mother was a genius. My father commanded respect. When they died, they left no instructions, just a legacy to protect. Death doesn't discriminate between the sinners and the saints. It takes and it takes and it takes, and we keep living anyway. We rise and we fall and we break and we make our mistakes. And if there's a reason I'm still alive, when everyone who loves me has died, I'm willing to wait for it. Wait for it. I'm willing to wait for it. Like in his shoes, Hamilton doesn't hesitate. He exhibits no restraint. Takes and he takes and he takes and he keeps winning anyway. Changes the game, plays and he raises the stakes. And if there's a reason he seems to thrive and so few survive, then goddamn it, I'm willing to wait for it. I'm willing to wait for it. Life doesn't discriminate. seen the general so despondent I have taken over writing all his correspondence Congress writes George attacked the British forces I shoot back we have resorted to eating our horses local merchants deny us equipment assistance they only take British money so sing a song of sixpence the cavalry's not coming but sir Alex listen there's only one way for us to win this provoke outrage outright that's right don't engage strike by night Remain relentless till their troops take flight. Make it impossible to justify the cost of uh -huh. the fight. Outrun, outrun, outlast, outlast. Hit them quick, get out fast. Stay alive until this horror show is past. We're gonna fly a lot of flags half mast. Raise a glass. I go back to New York in my apprenticeship. I ask for French aid, I pray that Francis sent a ship. I stay at work with Hamilton, we write essays against slavery. And every day's a test of our camaraderie and bravery. We cut supply lines, we steal contraband. We pick and choose our battles and places to take a stand. And every day, sir, entrust me with a command. And every day, no. he dismisses me out of hand. Instead of me, he promotes Charles Lee, makes him second in command. I'm a general. Not the choice I would have gone with. He shits the bed at the Battle of Monmouth. Everyone attack! Retreat! Attack! Retreat! What are you doing? Lee, get back on your feet! But there's so many of them! I'm sorry, is this not your speed? Hamilton, ready, 
sir. Have Lafayette take the lead. Yes, sir. A thousand soldiers die in a hundred degree heat. As we snatch a stalemate from the jaws of defeat. Charles Lee was left behind without a pot to piss in. He started saying this to anybody who would listen. Washington cannot be left alone to his devices. Indecisive from crisis to crisis. The best thing he can do for the revolution is turn and go back to planting tobacco in Mount Vernon. <laughs> Don't do a thing. History will prove him wrong. But sir, we have a war to fight. Let's move along. Strong words from Lee. Someone ought to hold him to it. I can't disobey direct orders. Then I'll do it. Alexander, you're the closest friend I've got. Lawrence, do not throw away your shot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's the Ten Dual Commandments. It's the Ten Dual Commandments. Number one. The challenge demands satisfaction. If they apologize, no need for further action. Number two. If they don't, grab a friend. That's your second. Your lieutenant. When there's reckoning to be reckoned. Number three. Have your seconds meet face to face. Negotiate a or negotiate a time and place. This is commonplace, especially between recruits. Most disputes die and no one shoots. Number four. If they don't reach a peace, that's all right. Time to get some pistols and the doctor on site. You pay him in advance, you treat him with civility. You have him turn around so he can have deniability. Five, four before the sun is in the sky. Pick a place to die where it's high and dry. Number six, leave a note for your next to kin. Tell him where you've been. Pray that hell or heaven lets you in. Seven, confess your sins. Ready for the moment of adrenaline. When you finally face your opponent. Number eight, your last chance to negotiate. Send in your second, see if they can set the record straight. Alexander. Aaron Burr, sir. Can we agree the duels are dumb and immature? Sure, but your man has to answer for his words, Burr. With his life, we both know that's absurd, sir. Hang on, how many men died because Lee was inexperienced and ruinous? Okay, so we're doing this. Number nine. Look him in the eye, ain't no higher. Summon all the courage you require. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, number ten, paces, fire! Lee, do you yield? You shot him in the side, yes, he yields. I'm satisfied. No, we gotta clear the field. Go, we won. Here comes the general. This should be fun. What is the meaning of this? Mr. Burr, get a medic for the general. Yes, sir. Lee, you will never agree with me, but believe me, these young men don't speak for me. Thank you for service. Let's ride. Hamilton, sir, meet me inside. Meet him inside. Meet him inside. Meet him inside. Meet him, meet him inside. Son, don't call me son. This war is hard enough without infighting. Lee called you out. We called us You bluff. solve nothing. You aggravate our allies to the south. You're absolutely right. John should have shot him in the mouth. That would have shut him up. Son, I'm not your son. Watch your tone. I am not a maiden in need of defending. Charles Lee, Lee, Thomas Conway, these men take your name and they rake it through the mud. My name's been through a lot. I can take Well, I don't it. have your name. I don't have your titles. I don't have your land. But if you know, if you gave me command of a battalion, Italian, the group of men to lead, I could fly above my station after the war. Or you could die, and we need you alive. I'm more than willing to die. Your wife needs you alive, son, I need you alive. Call me son one more time. Go home, Alexander. That's an order from your commander. Sir? Go home. How lucky we are to be alive right now Look around, look around How long have you known? A month or so Eliza, you should have told me I wrote to the general a month ago No I begged him to send you home You should have told me I'm not sorry I knew you'd fight until the war was won But you deserve a chance to meet your son Look around, look around And how lucky we are to be alive right now Will you relish being a poor man's wife Unable to provide for your life I relish being your wife Look around, look around Look at where you are 
forget where you started The fact that you're alive is a miracle Just stay alive, that would be enough And if this child Shares a fraction of your smile Or a fragment of your mind Look outward, that would be enough I don't pretend to know challenges you're facing the world you keep erasing and creating in your mind but I'm not afraid I know who I married so long as you come home at the end of the day that would be enough we don't need a legacy we don't need money If I could grant you peace of mind If you could let me inside your heart Oh, let me be a part of the narrative In the story they will write someday Let this moment be the first chapter Where you decide to stay How does a ragtag volunteer army in need of a shower somehow defeat a global superpower? How do we emerge victorious from the quagmire? Leave the battlefield waving Betsy Ross's flag higher? Yo, turns out we have a secret weapon, an immigrant. You know and love who's unafraid to step in. He's constantly confusing, confounding the British henchmen. Everyone give it up for America's favorite fighting Frenchman! I'm taking this horse, man, of rains, making red coats, weather with blood stains. And I'm never gonna stop until I make him jump up and I'm up and scatter the remains down. Watch me engage in a mystery. Escaping them and raging them out. Yeah, yeah. I go to France for more fun. Yeah, yeah. I come back with more guns and ships. And so their balance shifts. We rendezvous with Rochambeau, consolidate their gifts. We can end this war in Yorktown, cut them off at sea. But for this to succeed, there's someone else we need. I know. Hamilton. So he knows what to do in the trench. Ingenuity and fluent in French, I mean. Hamilton. So you're gonna have to use him eventually. What's he gonna do in the bench, I mean? Hamilton. No one has more resilience or matches my practical, tactical brilliance. Hamilton. You want to fight for your land back? Hamilton. I need my right hand man back. Yeah. Get your right hand man back. You know you gotta get your right hand man back. I mean, you gotta put some thought into the letter, but the sooner the better to get your right hand man back. Alexander Hamilton. Troops are waiting in the field for you. If you join us right now, together we can turn the tide. Oh, Alexander Hamilton, I have soldiers that will yield for you. If we manage to get this right, they'll surrender my early life. No. I was younger than you are now When I was given my first command I led my men straight into a massacre I witnessed their deaths firsthand I made every mistake And felt the shame rise in me And even now I lie awake Knowing history has its eyes Tell you what I wish I'd known 
When I was young and dreamed of glory You have no control Who lives, who dies, who tells your story I know that we can win I know that greatness lies in you But remember from here on in History has its eyes on you History has its eyes on you The Battle of Yorktown 1781. Monsieur Hamilton. Monsieur Lafayette. In command where you belong. Are you saying no sweat? We're finally on the field. We've had quite a run. Immigrants. We get the job done. So what happens if we win? I go back to France. I bring freedom to my people if I'm given the chance. We'll be with you when you do. Go, lead your men. I'll see you on the other side. Till we meet again. I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Hey, yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Till the world turns upside down. Till the world turns upside down. I imagine death so much it feels more like a memory. This is where it gets me. On my feet, the enemy ahead of me. If this is the end of me, at least I have a friend with me. Weapon in my hand, a command of my men with me. Then I remember my allies is expecting me. Not only that, my allies is expecting. We gotta go, gotta get the job done. Gotta start a new nation, gotta meet my son. Take the bullets out your gun, the bullets out your gun. We move on the cover and we move as one. Through the night we have one shot to live another day. We cannot let a straight gunshot give us away. We will fight up close, seize the moment and stay in it. It's either that or meet the business end of a bayonet. The code word is no shampoo. Take me, no shampoo. You have your orders now, go man, go. An experiment begins with my friends all scattered to the winds. Lawrence is in South Carolina, redefining and bravery. We'll never be free until we end slavery. When we finally drive the British away, Lafayette is there waiting in Chesapeake Bay. How did we know that this plan would work? We had a spy on the inside, that's right. Hercules Mulligan! I tell a spy on the British government. I take the measurements, information, and then I smuggle it. Huh? To my brother's revolutionary covenant. I'm running with the sons of liberty, and I am loving it. See, that's what happens when you up against the ruffians. We in the shit now, somebody's got to shovel it. Hercules Mulligan, I need no introduction. When you knock me down, I get the fuck back up again. <laughs> Fighting a young man in a red coat stands on a parapet. We lower our guns as he frantically waves their white handkerchief. And just like that, it's over. We tend to our wounded, we count our dead. Black and white soldiers wonder alike if this really means freedom. Not yet. We negotiate the terms of surrender. I see George Washington smile. We escort their men out of your town. They stagger home single file, tens of thousands of people flood the streets. There are screams and church bells ringing. And as our fallen foes retreat, I hear the drinking song they're singing. The world turned upside down. The world turned upside down. They say the price of my war is not a price that they're willing to pay. Insane, 
You cheat with the French, now I'm fighting with France and with Spain. I'm so blue. I thought that we made an arrangement when you went away. You were mine to subdue. Well, even despite our estrangement, I've got a small query for you. What comes next? You've been freed. Do you know how hard it is to lead? You're on your own. Awesome. Wow. Do you have a clue what happens now? Oceans rise, empires fall. It's much harder when it's all your call. All alone across the sea. When your people say they hate you, don't come crawling back to me. Da 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 After the war, I went back to New York. After the war, I went back to New York. I finished up my studies and I practiced law. I practiced law, bird work next door. Even though we started at the very same time, Alexander Hamilton began to climb. How to account for his rise to the top? Man, the man is non-stop. Gentlemen of the jury, I'm curious, bear with me. Are you aware that we're making history? This is the first murder trial of our brand new nation. The liberty behind the liberation. I intend to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt with my assistant counsel. Oh, counsel Hamilton, sit down. A client, Lemmy Weeks, is innocent. Call your first witness. That's all you had to say. Okay. One more thing. Why do you assume you're the smartest in the room? Why do you assume you're the smartest in the room? Why do you assume you're the smartest in the room? Assume that attitude may be your doom. Why do you write like you're running out of time? Right day and night like you're running out of time. Every day you fight like you're running out of time. Keep on fighting in the meantime. Non-stop. Corruption's such an old song that we can sing along in harmony. And nowhere is it stronger than in Albany. This colony's economy's increasingly stalling. And honestly, that's why public service Just seems to be calling me. I practiced the law, practically perfected it. I've seen injustice in the world and I've corrected it. Now for a strong central democracy. If not, then I'll be Socrates throwing verbal rocks at these mediocrities. Oh. Hamilton at the Constitutional Convention. I was chosen for the Constitutional Convention. There is a New York Jew. Your delegate. Now what I'm gonna say may sound indelicate. Uh, he goes and proposes his own form of government. What? His own plan for a new form of government. What? Talks for six hours. The convention is listless. Right, young man. Yo, who the F is this? Why do you always say what you believe? Why do you always say what you believe? Every proclamation guarantees free ammunition for your enemies. Uh, why do you write like it's going out of style? Right day and night like it's going out of style. Alexander? Aaron Burr, sir. Well, it's the middle of the night. Can we confer, sir? Is this a legal matter? Yes, and it's important to me. What do you need? Burr, you're a better lawyer than me. Okay. I know I talk too much. I'm abrasive. You're incredible in court. You're succinct, persuasive. My client needs a strong defense. You're the solution. Who's your client? The new U.S. Constitution. No. Hear me out. No way. A series of essays anonymously published defending the document of the public. No one will read it. I disagree. And if it fails. Burr, that's why we need it. The Constitution's a mess. So it needs amendments. It's full of contradictions. So is independence. We have to start somewhere. No. No way. You're making a mistake. Good night. Hey, what are you waiting for? What do you stall for? What? We won the war. What was it all for? Do you support this constitution? Of course. Then defend it. And what if you're backing the wrong horse? Burr, we studied and we fought and we killed for the notion of a nation we now get to build. For once in your life, take a stand with pride. I don't understand how you stand to the side. I'll keep all my plans close to my chest. I am a
accompanied by someone who always pays. I have found a wealthy husband who will keep me in comfort for all my days. He is not a lot of fun, but there's no one who can match you for turn up phrase. My Alexander, don't forget to rock. Look at where you Alexander joins forces with James Madison and John Jay to write a series of essays defending the new United States Constitution entitled The Federalist Papers. The plan was to write a total of 25 essays, the work divided evenly among the three men. In the end, they wrote 85 essays in the span of six months. John Jay got sick after writing five. James Madison wrote 29. Hamilton wrote the other 51. How do you write like you're running out of time? Write day and night like you're running out of time. Every day you fight like you're running out of time. Like you're running out of time. Are you running out of time? How do you write like tomorrow won't arrive? How do you write like you needed to survive? How do you write every second you're alive? Every second you're alive? Every second you're alive? They're asking me to lead. I'm doing the best I can to get the people that I need. I'm asking you to be my right hand, Treasury man. Or state. I know it's a lot to treasury ask or to leave behind the world you know. Sir, do you want me to run the Treasury or State Department? Treasury. Let's go. Alexander. I have to leave. Alexander. Look around, look around at how lucky we are to be alive right now. Helpless. They are asking me to leave. Look around. Immigrant, decorated war vet Unite the colonies through more debt Fight the other founding fathers till he has to forfeit Have it all, lose it all You ready for more yet? Treasury Secretary Washington's the president Every American experiment sets a precedent Not so fast, someone came along to resist him Pissed him off until we had a two-party system You haven't met him yet, you haven't had the chance Cause he's been kicking ass as the ambassador to France But someone's gotta keep the American promise You simply must meet Thomas, Thomas And the world still spins oh. I helped Lafayette draft a declaration Then I said I gotta go I gotta be in Monticello Now the work at home begins oh. So what did I miss? What did I miss? Mm. Virginia, my home sweet home I wanna give you a kiss the late 80s I travel the wide wide world it came back to this oh. there's a 
letter on my desk from the president. Haven't even put my bag down yet. Sally, be a lamb, darling, won't you open it? It says the president's assembling a cabinet, and then I end up being the secretary of state. Great, and then I'm already sending it approved. I just got home, and now I'm headed up to New York. Headed to New York, headed to New York. Looking at the rolling fields, I can't My friend James Madison, red in the face. He grabs my arm and I respond, what's going on? Thomas, we are engaged in a battle for our nation's very soul. Can you get us out of the mess we're in? Hamilton's new financial plan is nothing less than government control. I've been fighting for the South alone. Where have you been, uh, France? Oh. We have to win. Well, what did I miss? What, what, what did I miss? What did I miss? Head first into a political abyss. Head first into the abyss. I had my first cabinet meeting today. I guess I better think of something to say. I'm already gone my way to get to the bottom of this. What did I miss? Oh. Mr. Jefferson. gentlemen you could have been anywhere in the world tonight but you're here with us in new york city are you ready for a cabinet meeting huh the issue on the table secretary hamilton's plan to assume state debts and establish a national bank secretary jefferson you have the floor sir life liberty and the pursuit of happiness we fought for these ideals we shouldn't settle for less these are wise words, enterprising men quote them. Don't act surprised, you guys, cause I wrote them. Ow, but Hamilton forgets. His plan would have the government assume state debts. Now place your bets as to who that benefits. The very seat of government where Hamilton sits. Not true. Oh, if the shoe fits, wear it. If New York's in debt, why should Virginia bear it? Uh, our debts are paid, I'm afraid. Don't tax the South, cause we got it made in the shade. In Virginia, we plant seeds in the ground. We create, you just wanna move our money around. This financial plan is an outrageous demand, and it's too many damn pages for any man to understand. Stand with me in the land of the free. Pray to God we never see Hamilton's candidacy. Look, when Britain taxed our tea, we got frisky. Imagine what gonna happen when you try to tax our whiskey. Thank you, Secretary Jefferson. Secretary Hamilton, your response. Thomas, that was a real nice declaration. Welcome to the present, we're running a real nation. Would you like to join us? Or stay mellow doing whatever the hell it is you doing, Monticello. If we assume the debts, the union gets a new line of credit, a financial diuretic, how do you not get it? If we're aggressive and competitive, the union gets a boost, you'd rather give it a sedative? A civics lesson from a slaver, hey neighbor, your debts are paid cause you don't pay for labor. We plant seeds in the south, we create, they keep ranting, we know who's really doing the planting. And another thing, Mr. Age of Enlightenment, don't lecture me about the war, you didn't fight in it. You think I'm frightened of you, man? We almost died in the trench. Well, you were off getting high with the French. Thomas Jefferson always hesitant with the president. Medicine, there isn't a plan he doesn't jettison. Madison, you mad as a hatter, so take your medicine. Damn, you in worse shape than the national debt is in. Sitting there useless as two shits. Hey, turn around, bend over. I'll show you where my shoe fits. Excuse me. Madison, Jefferson, take a walk. Hamilton, take a walk. We're going to reconvene after a brief recess. Hamilton, sir, a word. You don't have the votes. You don't have the votes. <laughs> You're gonna need congressional approval and you don't have the votes. Such a blunder, sometimes it makes me wonder why I even bring the thunder. Why he even brings the thunder? 
pull yourself together. I'm sorry, these Virginians are birds of a feather. Young man, I'm from Virginia, so watch your mouth. So we let Congress get held hostage by the South? You need the votes. No, we need bold strokes. We need this no, plan. No, you need to convince more folks. Well, James Madison won't talk to me. That's a non-starter. Ah. Winning was easy, young man. Governing's hard. They're being intransigent. You have to find a compromise. But they don't have a plan. They just hate mine. Convince them otherwise. And what happens if I don't get congressional approval? I imagine they'll call for your removal. Sir, figure it out, Alexander. That's an order from your commander. Good. My dearest Angelica, tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day. I trust you'll understand the reference to another Scottish tragedy without my having a name to play. They think me Macbeth. Ambition is my folly, I'm a polymath, a pain in the ass, a massive pain. Madison is Banquo, Jefferson's Macduff, and Burnham Wood is Congress on its way to Dunsany. And there you are in ocean away, do you have to live in ocean away? Thoughts of you subside, then I get another letter, and I cannot put the notion away. I'm on my way There's a little surprise before supper And it cannot wait I'll be there in just a minute Save my plate Alexander Okay, okay Your son is nine years old today He has something he'd like to say He's been practicing all day Philip, take it away Daddy, daddy, look My name is Philip I am a poet I wrote this poem just to show it and I just turn nine. You can write rhymes, but you can't write mine. What? I practice French and play piano with my mother. Uh -huh. I have a sister, but I want a little brother. Okay. My daddy's trying to start America's bank. Linda, twa, cut the song. Take a break. Hey, our kid is pretty great. Run away with us for the summer. Let's go upstate. Eliza, I've got so much on my plate. We can all go stay with my father. to get away. My dearest Alexander, you must get through to Jefferson. Sit down with him and compromise. Don't stop till you agree. Your favorite older sister, Angelica, reminds you there's someone in your corner all the way across the sea. In a letter I received from you two weeks ago, I noticed a comma in the middle of a phrase. It changed the meaning. Did you intend this? One stroke and you've consumed my waking days. It says, my dearest Angelica, with the comma after dearest, you've written my dearest Angelica. Anyway, all this to say, I'm coming home this summer at my sister's invitation. I'll be there with your family if you make your way upstate. I know you're very busy, I know your work's important, but I'm crossing the ocean and I just can't wait. You won't be an ocean away, you will only be a moment away. Angelica's arriving today. <laughs> Angelica, Eliza, the Skyler sisters, Alexander. Hi. It's good to see your face. Angelica, tell this man John Adams spends the summer with his family. Angelica, tell my wife John Adams doesn't have a real job anyway. You're not joining us, wait. I'm afraid I cannot join you upstate. Alexander, I came all this way. She came all this way. All this way, take a break. You know I have to get my plan through Congress. Run away with us for the summer, let's go upstate. I lose my job if we don't get this plan through Congress. All the stay with our father.
plan through Congress. I can't stop till I get this plan through Congress. There's nothing like summer in the city. Someone under stress meets someone looking pretty. There's trouble in the air, you can smell it. And Alexander's by himself. I'll let him tell it. I hadn't slept in a week, I was weak, I was awake. You've never seen a bastard orphan more in need of a break. Longing for Angelica, missing my wife. That's when Miss Mariah Reynolds walked into my life, she said. I know you are a man of honor. I'm so sorry to bother you at home, but I don't know where to go, and I came here all alone. She said, my husband's doing me wrong, beating me, cheating me, mistreating me, suddenly he's up and gone, I don't have the means to go on. So I offered her a loan, I offered to walk her home, she said, you're too Kind, sir. I gave her 30 bucks that I had socked away She lived a block away, she said This one's mine, sir Then I said, well, I should head back home She turned red, she led me to a bed Let her legs spread and said Stay, hey Yeah That's when I began to pray Lord, show me how to say no to this I don't know how to say no to this But my God, she looks so helpless her body saying hell yes No, show me how to say no to this I don't know how to say no to this In my mind I'm trying to go Then her mouth is on mine and I don't say No, no was the last time I said that last time it became a pastime a month into this endeavor I received a letter from a Mr. James Reynolds even better it said dear sir I hope this letter finds you in good health and in a prosperous enough position to put wealth in the pockets of people like me down on their luck you see that was my wife who decided to uh oh you made the wrong sucker a cucko so time to pay the pipe before the pants you want buckle and hey you can keep seeing my whole wife if the price is right if not i'm telling you your wife i hit the letter and i raced to a place screamed i'll cut you in the face she said no sir I dressed apologetic a mess she looked pathetic she cried please don't go sir so what's your whole story you said i don't know about any letters stop crying god damn it get up i didn't know any better I Nobody needs to know. Ah, Mr. Secretary. Mr. Burr, sir. And did you hear the news about good old General Mercer? No. You know Claremont Street? Yeah. They renamed it after him. The Mercer Legacy is secure. Sure. And all he had to do was die. Yeah, that's a lot less work. We ought to give it a try. <laughs> now, how you gonna get your debt plan through? I guess I'm gonna finally have to listen to you. Really? Talk less. Smile more. <laughs> do whatever it takes to get my plan on the Congress floor. 
Now Madison and Jefferson are merciless. Well, hate the sin, love the sinner. Hamilton. I'm sorry, Burr, I gotta go. But decisions are happening over dinner. Two Virginians and an immigrant walk into a room diametrically opposed foes. They emerge with a compromise, having open doors that were previously closed. Bros. The immigrant emerges with unprecedented financial power, a system he can shape however he wants. The Virginians emerge with the nation's capital. And here's the pièce de résistance. No one else was in the room where it happened, the room where it happened, the room where it happened. No one else was in the room where it happened, the room where it happened, the room where it happened. No one really knows how the game is played. Of the trade, how the sausage gets made. We just assume that it happens. But no one else is in the room where it happens. Thomas claims Alexander was on Washington's doorstep one day in distress and disarray. Thomas claims Alexander said, I've nowhere else to turn. And basically begged me to join the fray. Thomas claims I approached Madison and said, I know you hate him, but let's hear what he has to say. Thomas claims Well, I arranged the meeting. I arranged the menu, the venue, the seating. But no one else was in the room where it happened. The room where it happened. The room where it happened. No one else was in the room where it happened. The room where it happened. The room where it happened. No one really knows how the parties get to yes. The pieces that are sacrificed in every game of chess. We just assume that it happens. But no one else is in the room where it happens. Meanwhile, Madison is grappling with the fact that not every issue can be settled by committee. Meanwhile, Congress is fighting over where to put the capital. <laughs> it isn't pretty. Then Jefferson approaches with the dinner and invite, and Madison responds with Virginian insight. Maybe we can solve one problem with another and win a victory for the Southerners. In other words, ho, ho. a quid pro quo. I suppose. Wouldn't you like to work a little closer to home? Actually, I would. Well, I propose the Potomac. And you'll provide him his vote. Well, we'll see how it goes. Let's go. No. What else was in the room where it happened? The room where it happened? The room where it happened? No one else was in the room where it happened? The room where it happened? The room where it happened? My God, in God we trust, but we never really know what got discussed. Click boom, and it happened. And no one else is in the room where it happened. Alexander Hamilton. What did they say to you to get you to sell New York City? Presidential pressure to deliver Alexander Hamilton Or did you know even then it doesn't matter where you put the U.S. Capitol Cause we'll have the banks, we're in the same spot You got more than you gave And I wanted what I got when you got skin in the game, you stay in the game But you don't get a win unless you play in the game Oh, you get love for it, you get hate for it You get nothing if you wait for it, wait for it, wait God help and forgive me. I want to build something that's gonna outlive me. What do you want, Bert? What do you want, Bert? If you stand for nothing, Bert, what do you fall for? I, I want to be in the room where it happens, the room where it happens. I want to be in the room where it happens, the room where it happens. I want to be in the room where it happens. I want to be in the room where it happens Senate. Sometimes that's how it goes. 
that he's gonna find out any minute. I'm sure he already knows. Further down, further, further down, down, let's meet the newest senator from New York. New York, our senator. Burr? Since when are you a Democratic Republican? Since being one put me on the up and up again. No one knows who you are or what you do. They don't need to know me, they don't like you. Excuse me? Old Wall Street thinks you're great. You'll always be adored by the things you create, but upstate, Wait. people think you're crooked. The scholar seat was up for grabs, so I took it. I've always considered you a friend. I don't see why that has to win. You changed parties to run against my father-in-law. I changed parties to seize the opportunity I saw. I swear your pride will be the death of us all. Beware, it goeth before the fall. The issue on the table. France is on the verge of war with England. Now do we provide aid and troops to our French allies or do we stay out of it? Remember, my decision on this matter is not subject to congressional approval. The only person you have to convince is me. Secretary Jefferson, you have the floor, sir. When we were on death's door when we were needy, we made a promise. We signed a treaty. We needed money and guns and half a chance. Uh, who provided those funds? France. In return, they didn't ask for land. Only a promise that we'd lend a hand and stand with them if they fought against oppressors. And revolution is messy, but now is the time to stand. Stand with our brothers as they fight against tyranny. I know that Alexander Hamilton is here and he would rather not have this debate. I'll remind you that he is not Secretary of State. He knows nothing of loyalty. Smells like new money, dresses like fake royalty. Desperate to rise above his station. Everything he does betrays the ideals of our nation. If you don't know, now you know, Mr. President. Thank you, Secretary Jefferson. Secretary Hamilton, your response. Come on. You must be out of your goddamn mind if you think the president is gonna bring the nation to the brink of meddling in the middle of a military mess, a game of chess where France is queen and kingless. Who signed a treaty with a king whose head is now in a basket? Would you like to take it out and ask it? Or should we honor our treaty, King Louis' head? Uh, do whatever you want. I'm super dead. That's enough, right. enough. <laughs> Hamilton is right. Mr. President. We're too fragile to start another fight. But, sir, do we not fight for freedom? Sure, when the French figure out who's going to lead them. The people are leading. The people are rioting. There's a difference. Frankly, it's a little disquieting. You would let your ideals blind you to reality. Hamilton, sir, draft a statement of neutrality. Did you forget Lafayette? What? Have you an ounce of regret? You accumulate debt, you accumulate power, yet in their hour of need you forget. Lafayette's a smart man, he'll be fine. And before he was your friend, he was mine. If we try to fight in every revolution in the world, we never stop. Where do we draw the line? So quick-witted. Alas, I admit it. I bet you were quite a lawyer. My defendants got acquitted. Yeah. Well, someone ought to remind you. What? You're nothing without Washington behind you. Hamilton. <gasps> Daddy's calling. It must be nice, it must be nice To have Washington on your side It must be nice, it must be nice To have Washington on your side Every action has an equal opposite reaction Thanks to Hamilton, our cabinet's fractured into factions Try not to crack under the stress We're breaking down like fractions We smack each other in the press And we don't print retractions I get no satisfaction witnessing his fits of passion The way he primps and preens and dresses like the pits of fashion Our poorest citizens, our farmers, live ration to ration As Wall Street robs them blind in search of chips to cash in This prick is asking for someone to bring him to task Somebody give me some dirt on his vacuum his mask so we can at last unmask him i'll pull the trigger on him someone load the gun and cock it while we were all watching he got washington in his pocket it must be nice it must be nice to have washington on your side it must be nice it must be nice to have washington on your side look back at the bill of rights which i wrote the ink hasn't dried it must be nice, it must be nice 
to have Washington on your side. So he's doubled the size of the government. Wasn't the trouble with much of our previous government size. Look in his eyes. See how he lies. Follow the scent of his enterprise. Centralizing national credit and making American credit competitive. If we don't stop it, we aid and abet it. I have to resign. Somebody has to stand up for the South. But somebody has to stand up to his mouth. If there's a fire you're trying to douse, you can't put it out from inside the house. I'm in the cabinet. I am complicit in watching him grabbing and power and kissing him. Washington isn't gonna listen to discipline, dissidents. This is the difference. This kid is out. Oh, this immigrant isn't somebody we chose. Oh, this immigrant's keeping us all on our toes. Oh, let's show these federalists who they're up against. Oh, southern motherfucking Democratic Republicans. Oh, now follow the money and see where it goes. Oh, because every second the treasury grows. Oh, if we follow the money and see where it leads. For the seeds of Hamilton's misdeeds It must be nice It must be nice Follow the money and see where it goes It must be nice It must be nice The emperor has no clothes We won't be invisible We won't be denied Still It must be nice It must be nice to have Washington on your side. Mr. President, you asked to see me. I know you're busy. What do you need, sir? Sir? I want to give you a word of warning. Sir, I don't know what you heard, but whatever it is, Jefferson started it. Thomas Jefferson resigned this morning. You're kidding. I need a favor Whatever you say, sir Jefferson will pay for this behavior Shh. Talk less I'll use the press I'll write under a pseudonym You'll see what I can do to him I need you to draft an address Yes, he resigned You can finally speak your mind No He's stepping down so he can run for president ha! Good luck defeating you, sir I'm stepping down I'm not running for president I'm sorry, what? One last time Relax, have a drink with me one last time Let's take a break tonight And then we'll teach him how to say goodbye To say goodbye You and I To talk about neutrality sure. With Britain and France on the verge of war Is this the best I time? I want the war against partisan fighting what? Pick up a pen, start writing I want to talk about what I have learned The hard-won wisdom I have earned As far as the people are concerned You have to serve You could continue to serve no. One last time The people will hear from me One last time We're gonna teach them how to say goodbye You and I Mr. President, they will say you're weak No, they will see we're strong Your position is so unique So I'll use it to move them along Why do you have to say goodbye? If I say goodbye, the nation learns to move on Leaves me when I'm gone. Like the scripture says, everyone shall sit under their own vine and fig tree, and no one shall make them afraid. They'll be safe in the nation we've made. I want to sit under my own vine and fig tree, a moment alone in the shade, at home in this nation we. One last time, one last time. Though, in reviewing the incidents of my administration, I am unconscious of intentional error, I am nevertheless too sensible of my defects not to think it probable that I may have committed many errors. I shall also carry with me the hope that my country will view them with indulgence, and that after 45 years of my life dedicated to its service with an upright zeal, the faults of incompetent abilities will be consigned to oblivion, as I myself will soon be. 
to the mansions of rest. I anticipate with pleasing expectation that retreat in which I promise myself to realize the sweet enjoyment of partaking in the midst of my fellow citizens. The benign influence of a good laws and of a free government, the ever favorite object of my heart, and the happy reward as I trust of our mutual care. Labors and dangers one last time. George Washington's going home. You teach him how to say goodbye. George Washington's going home. George Washington's yielding his power and stepping away Is that true? I wasn't aware that was something a person could do I'm perplexed Are they going to keep on replacing whoever's in charge? If so, who's next? There's nobody else in their country who looms quite as large John Adams? I know him. That can't be. That's that little guy who spoke to me all those years ago. What was it? 85. That poor man, they're going to eat him alive. Oceans rise, empires fall. Next to Washington, they all look small. All alone, watch them run. Tear each other into pieces, Jesus Christ, this will be fun. Da 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 President John Adams. Good luck. Hamilton, the short-tempered protean creator of the Coast Guard, founder of the New York Post, ardently abuse his cabinet post, destroy his reputation. Welcome, folks, to the, the Adams administration. administration. Jefferson's the runner-up, which makes him the vice president. Washington can't help you now no more, Mr. Nice President. Adams fires Hamilton, privately calls him Creole bastard in his taunts. Say what? Hamilton publishes his response. Sit down, John, you fat mother <laughs> Hamilton's out of control. This is great. He's out of power, he holds no office, and he just destroyed President John Adams, the only other significant member of his party. Hamilton is a host unto himself. As long as he can hold a pen, he's a threat. Let's let him know what we know. Mr. Vice President. Mr. Madison. Senator Burr, what is this? We have the check stubs from separate accounts. Almost a thousand dollars paid in different amounts to a Mr. James Reynolds way back in 1791. Is that what you have? Are you done? You are uniquely situated by virtue of your position. Though virtue is not a word I'd apply to this situation. To seek financial gain, to stray from your sacred mission. And the evidence suggests you engaged in speculation. An immigrant embezzling our government funds. I can almost see the headline, your career is done. I hope you save some money for your daughter and sons. Your best one run back where you come from. You don't even know what you're asking me to confess. confess You have nothing, I don't have to tell you anything at all 
unless, unless If I can prove that I never broke the law Do you promise not to tell another soul what you saw? No one else was in the room where it happened Is that a yes? Um, yes Dear sir, I hope this letter finds you in good health And in a prosperous enough position to put wealth In the pockets of people like me down on their luck You see, that was my wife who you decided to What? She courted me Escorted me to bed and when she had me in a corner That's when Reynolds extorted me for a sordid fee I paid him quarterly, I may have mortally wounded my prospects But my papers are orderly As you can see I kept a record of every check in my check in history Check it again against your list and see consistency I never spent a cent that wasn't mine You sent the dogs after my scent, that's fine Yes, I have reason for shame But I have not committed treason and sullied my good name as you can see, I have done nothing to provoke legal action. All my answers to your satisfaction. My God. Gentlemen, let's go. So? The people won't know what we know. Burr, how do I know you won't use this against me the next time we go toe-to-toe? -to -toe? Alexander, rumors only grow. And we both know what we know. of a hurricane there is quiet for just a moment a yellow sky when I was 17 a hurricane destroyed my town I didn't drown I couldn't seem to die I wrote my way out wrote everything down far as I could see I wrote my way out I looked up and the town had its eyes on me They passed a plate around And total strangers Moved to kindness By my story Raised enough for me to book passage on a ship that was New York bound I wrote my way out of hell I wrote my way to revolution I was louder than the crack in the bell I wrote Eliza Love letters until she fell I wrote about the constitution And defended it well And in the face of ignorance and resistance I wrote financial systems into existence And when my prayers to God were met with indifference I picked up a pen I wrote my own deliverance In the eye of a hurricane There is quiet For just a moment yellow sky I was 12 when my mother died she was holding me we were sick and she was holding me I couldn't seem to die wait for me wait for me wait for me I'll write my way out wait for me, wait for me, wait for me, wait for me. write everything down far as I can see I'll write my way out overwhelmed them with honesty This is the eye of the hurricane This is the only way I can protect my legacy Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait The Reynolds Pamphlet The Reynolds Pamphlet Have you read this? Alexander Hamilton Had a torrid affair And he wrote it down right there Highlights The charge against me is a connection with on James Reynolds, for purposes of improper speculation, my real crime is an amorous connection with his wife for a considerable time with his knowing consent. Damn. I had frequent meetings with her, most of them in my own house. At his own house. At his own house. Damn. Mrs. Hamilton, with our children being absent on a visit to her father. No. Have you read this? Well, he never gonna be president now. 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 That's one less thing to worry about. That's one less thing to worry about. <laughs> I came as soon as I heard. Angelica. All the way from London. Damn. 
Angelica, thank God, someone who understands what I'm struggling here to do. I'm not here for you. I know my sister like I know my own mind. You will never find anyone as trusting or as kind. I love my sister more than anything in this life. I will choose her happiness over mine every time. Put what we had aside. I'm standing at her side. You can never be sad. I saved every letter you wrote me From the moment I read them I knew you were mine You said you were mine I thought you were mine Do you know what Angelica said When we saw your first letter arrive? She said, be careful with that one, love he will do what it takes to survive You and your words flooded my senses Your sentences left me defenseless You built me palaces out of paragraphs You built cathedrals Only reading the letters you wrote me I'm searching and scanning for answers in every line For some kind of sign And when you This girl into our bed In clearing your name You have ruined our lives Do you know what Angelica said When she read what you'd done She said You've married an Icarus He has flown too close to the sun You and your words Obsessed with your legacy Your sentences border on sin
Meet the latest graduate of King's College. I probably shouldn't brag, but that guy amazing and astonished. The scholars say I got the same virtuosity in brains as my pops. The ladies say my brain's not where the resemblance stops. I'm only 19, but my mind is older. Gotta be my own man, like my father, but bolder. I shoulder his legacy with pride. I used to hear him say that someday I would blow us all away. Ladies, I'm looking for him. Mr. George Eager made a speech last week. I will fall the July speaker. He disparaged my father's legacy in front of a crowd. I can't have that. I'm making my father proud. I saw him dressed up Broadway, a couple of blocks. He was going to see a play. Well, I go visit his box. God, you're a fox. Y'all look pretty good in your frocks. How about when I get back, we all strip down to our socks? Okay. Yeah. Blow us all away. I'm trying to watch the show. You should have watched your mouth before you talked about my father, though. I didn't say anything that wasn't true. Your father's a scoundrel, and so it seems to you. Ooh. It's like that? Yeah, I don't fool around. I'm not your little schoolboy. See friends. you on the dueling ground. That is, unless you want to step outside and go now. I know where to find you. Piss off. I'm watching this show now. If you had only heard the shit he said about you I doubt you would have let it slide And I was not about to Slow you. down I came to ask you for advice This is my very first duel They don't exactly cover this subject in boarding school Did your friends attempt to negotiate a peace? He refused to apologize We had to let the peace talk cease Where is this happening? Across the river in Jersey Everything, Everything is, is legal in New Jersey, Jersey. Alright So this is what you're gonna do Stand there like a man Until Iker is in front of you When the time comes Fire your weapon in the air this will put an end to the whole affair. But what if he decides to shoot, then I'm a goner. No, you'll follow suit if he's truly a man of honor. To take someone's life, that is something you can't shake. Philip, your mother can't take another heartbreak. Father, promise me. You don't want this young man's blood on your conscience. Okay, I promise. Come back home when you're done. Take my guns, be smart. Make me proud, son. My name is Philip, I am a poet. And I'm a little nervous, but I can't show it. I'm sorry, I'm a Hamilton with pride. You talk about my father, I cannot let it slide. Mr. Eaker, how was the rest of your show? I'd rather skip the pleasantries, let's go. Grab your pistol, confer with your men. The duel will commence after we count to ten. Count to ten. Look him in the eye, aim no higher. Summon all the courage you require. And slowly and clearly aim your gun towards the sky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mr. Hamilton, come in. They brought him in a half an hour ago. He lost a lot of blood Is on the way alive? over. Yes, but you have to understand. The bullet entered just above his hip and lodged in can his I right arm. Can I see him, please? I'm doing everything I can. But the wound was already infected when he arrived. Philip. Pa. I did exactly as you said, Pa. I held my head up high. I know. I know, Shh, I know, I know, I know you did everything just right. Even before we got to ten, I was aiming for the sky. I know, I know, I was aiming I know, for I the know, sky. I know, save your strength and stay alive. Is he breathing? Is he going to survive this? Who did this, Alexander? Did you know? My son, we play piano. I taught you piano. You would put your hands on my. You changed the melody every time. I would always change the line. Shh, I know, I know. I would always change the line. I know, I know. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf. Six, sept, huit, neuf. Good. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf. Set wheat no set wheat There are moments that the words don't reach 
There is suffering too terrible to name. You hold your child as tight as you can and push away the unimaginable. The moments when you're in so deep, it feels easier to just swim down. The Hamiltons move uptown and learn to live with the unimaginable. They spend hours in the garden. I walk alone to the store, and it's quiet uptown. I never liked the quiet before. I take the children to church on Sunday, a sign of the cross at the door, and I pray. That never used to happen before. If you see him in the street, walking by himself, Talking to himself, have pity. Philip, you would like it uptown. It's quiet uptown. He is working through the unimaginable. His hair has gone gray. He passes every day. They say he walks the length of the city. You knock me out, I fall apart. Can you imagine? Look at where we are. Look at where we started. I know I don't deserve you, Eliza. But hear me out, that would be enough. If I could spare his life. If I could trade his life for mine. He'd be standing here right now. And you would smile, and that would be enough. Tend to know the challenges we're facing. I know there's no replacing what we've lost, and you need time. But I'm not afraid. I know who I married. Just let me stay here by your side. Walking by her side, talking by her side, have been. Eliza, do you like it uptown? It's quiet uptown. He is trying to do the unimaginable. See them walking in the park, long after dark, taking in the sights of the city. Look around, look around, Eliza. They are trying to do the unimaginable. There are moments that the words don't reach. There's a grace too powerful to name. We push away what we can never understand. We push away the unimaginable. They are standing in the garden. Alexander by Eliza's side. She takes his hand. It's quiet uptown. Forgiveness. Can you imagine forgiveness? Can you imagine if you see him in the street, walking by your side, talking by your side, have pity? Politics. Please. Yo. Every action has its equal opposite reaction. John Adams shat the bed. I love the guy, but he's in traction. Poor Alexander Hamilton. He is missing in action. So now I'm facing Aaron Burr with his own faction. He's very attractive in the North. New Yorkers like his chances. He's not very forthcoming on any particular stances. Ask him a question that glances off. He obfuscates. He dances. And they say I'm a Francophile. At least they know I know where France is. Thomas, that's the problem. See, they 
see Burr as a less extreme you. Yeah. You need to change course. A key endorsement might redeem you. Who did you have in mind? Don't laugh. Who is it? You used to work on the same staff. Uh, it might be nice. It might be nice. To get Hamilton on your side. It might be nice. It might be nice. To get Hamilton on your side. Talk less. Smile more. Don't let them know what you're against or what you're for. Shake hands with him. Charm her. 1,800 ladies tell your husbands, vote for Burr! I don't like Adams. Well, he's gonna lose, that's just defeatist. And Jefferson? In, in love, love with France. Yeah, he's so elitist. I like that Aaron Burr. I can't believe we're here with him. He seems approachable. Like who could grab a beer with him? Dear Mr. Hamilton, your fellow Federalists would like to know how you'll be voting. It's quiet up to Dear Mr. Hamilton, John Adams doesn't stand a chance, so who are you promoting? Well, if it isn't Aaron Burr, sir, Alexander, you've created quite a stir, sir. I'm going door to door. You're openly campaigning. Sure. That's new. Honestly, it's kind of draining. Burr, sir. Is there anything you wouldn't do? No, I'm chasing what I want, and you know what? What? I learned that from you. If you had to choose, if you had to choose, it's a tie. If you had to choose, if you had to choose, it's up to the delegates. If you had to choose, if you had to choose, it's up to Hamilton. If you had to choose, if you had to choose, you had to choose. is facing a difficult choice oh. and if you were to ask me who I'd promote oh. Jefferson has my vote oh. I had never agreed with Jefferson once oh. we have fought on like 75 different fronts oh. but when all is said and all is done Jefferson has beliefs Burr has none Ooh. well I'll be damned well I'll be damned Hamilton's on your side. Well, I'll be damned. Well, I'll be damned. And you won on a landslide. Congrats on a race well run. I did give you a fight. Uh huh. I look forward to our partnership. Our partnership as your vice president. <laughs> yeah, right. You hear this guy? Man openly campaigns against me, talking about I look forward to our partnership. It is crazy that the guy who comes in second gets to be vice president. Oh, you know what? We can change that. You know why? Why? Because I am the president. Burr, when you see Hamilton, thank him for the endorsement. How does Hamilton, an arrogant immigrant orphan bastard whore's son, somehow endorse Thomas Jefferson, his enemy, a man he's despised since the beginning, just to keep me from winning? I want to be in the room where it happens, the room where it happens, the room where it happens. You've kept me from the room where it happens for the last time. Dear Alexander, I am slow to anger, but I toe the line As I reckon with the effects of your life on mine I look back on where I failed, and in every place I checked The only common thread has been your disrespect Now you call me immoral a dangerous disgrace If you've got something to say Name a time and place Face to face I have the honor to be Your obedient servant A. Burr Mr. Vice President I am not the reason no one trusts you No one knows what you believe I will not equivocate on my opinion I have always worn it on my sleeve Even if I said what 
what you think I said You would need to cite a more specific grievance Here's an itemized list of 30 years of disagreements Sweet Jesus Hey, I have not been shy I am just a guy in the public eye Trying to do my best for our republic I don't want to fight But I won't apologize for doing what's right I have the honor to be Your obedient servant A. Ham. Careful how you proceed, good man Intemperate indeed, good man Answer for the accusations I'll lay at your feet Or prepare to bleed, good man Burr, your grievance is legitimate I stand by what I said, every bit of it You stand only for yourself, it's what you do I can't apologize because it's true Let's stand, Alexander We hawking dawn Guns drawn You're on I have the honor to be your obedient Servant A dot ham A dot bird Alexander come back to sleep. I have an early meeting out of town. It's still dark outside. I know. I just need to write something down Why do you write like you're running out of time? Shh. Come back to bed, that would be enough I'll be back before you know I'm gone Come back to sleep This meeting's at dawn Well, I'm going back to sleep Hey Best of wives and best of women One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are ten things you need to know. Number one. We rode across the Hudson at dawn. My friend William P. Van Ness signed on as my number, number two. two. Hamilton arrived with his crew. Nathaniel Pendleton and the doctor that he knew. Number three. I watched Hamilton examine the terrain. I wish I could tell you what was happening in his brain. This man is poisoned by political pursuits. Most disputes die. Hamilton drew first position, looking to the world like a man on a mission. This is a soldier with a marksman's ability. The doctor turned around so he could have deniability. Five. Now I didn't know this at the time, but we were near the same spot. My son died, is that why? He examined his gun with such rigor. I watched as he methodically fiddled with the trigger. Seven. Confession time, here's what I got. My fellow soldiers will tell you I'm a terrible shot. Number eight. Your last chance to negotiate. Send in your second, see if they can set the record straight. They won't teach you this in your classes, but look it up. Hamilton was wearing his glasses. Why? If not to take deadly aim, it's him or me. The world will never be the same. I had only one thought before the slaughter. This man will not make an orphan of my daughter. Number nine. Look him in the eye, aim no higher. Summon all the courage you require, then count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Number ten, pace is fire. I imagine death so much it feels more like a memory. Is this where it gets me? On my feet, several feet ahead of me. I see it coming. Do I run or fire my gun or let it be? There is no beat, no melody. Burr, my first friend, my enemy. Maybe the last face I ever see. If I throw away my shot, is this how you remember me? What if this bullet is my legacy? Legacy. What is a legacy? It's planting seeds in a garden you never get to see. I wrote some notes at the beginning of a song someone will sing for me. America, you great unfinished symphony, you sent for me. You let me make a difference. A place where even orphan immigrants can leave their fingerprints and rise up. I'm running out of time, I'm running in my time's up. Wise up, eyes up. I catch a glimpse of the other side. Lawrence leads a soldier's chorus on the other side. My son is on the other side. He's with my mother on the other side. Washington is watching from the other side. Teach me how to say goodbye. Rise up, rise up, rise up, Eliza. My love, take your time. I'll see you on the other side.
Raise a glass to freedom. He aims his pistol at the skyway! I strike him right between his ribs. I walk towards him, but I am ushered away. They row him back across the Hudson. Tells me you'd better hide. They say Angelica and Eliza were both at his side when he died. Death doesn't discriminate between the sinners and the saints. It takes and it takes and it takes. History obliterates in every picture it paints. It paints me and all my mistakes. When Alexander aimed at the sky, he may have been the first one to die, but I'm the one who paid for it. I survived, but I paid for it. Now I'm the villain in your history. I was too young and blind to see. I should have known. I should have known the world was wide enough for both Hamilton and me. The world was wide enough for both Hamilton and me. Let me tell you what I wish I'd known. When I was young and dreamed of glory, you have no control. Who lives, who dies, who tells your story? President Jefferson, I give him this. His financial system is a work of genius. I couldn't undo it if I tried. And I tried. Who lives, who dies, who tells your story? President Madison, he took our country from bankruptcy to prosperity. I hate to admit it. But he doesn't get enough credit for all the credit he gave us. Who lives, who dies, who tells your story? Every other founding father's story gets told. Every other founding father gets to grow old. And when you're gone, who remembers your name? Who keeps your flame? Who tells your story? Who tells your story? Who tells your story? Back in the narrative. Eliza. We stop wasting time on tears. I live another 50 years. It's not enough. Eliza. I interview every soldier who fought by your side. She tells our story. I try to make sense of your thousands of pages of writings. You really do write, but you're running out of time.